Hello and welcome back friends. Welcome to another video session from Somos Biology. In this video lecture, we are going to talk about the difference between lac operon and tryptophan operon. So, in the last two or three videos, we've been talking about the prokaryotic gene regulation. We've been talking about the operon concepts, lac operon, tryptophan operon. We've talked about the lac operon regulation, catabolite repression. We've also talked about the tryptophan operon attenuation. But in this video, I'm going to contrast the, these two types of operon a little, little bit here. Now, if we look at the, these two operon, the first difference that comes to our mind is the approach for the operon. Lactose operon is type of catabolite operon or catabolism kind of operon, while tryptophan operon is anabolism kind of operon. Why? Because in lac operon, the idea is to break down lactose, to produce proteins which will break down lactose or catabolic, which will actually uh, use the lactose to derive energy with the catabolic pathways. On the other hand, in tryptophan operon, this is to produce tryptophan. So, in this tryptophan operon, we will synthesize some proteins which are listed here that will ultimately help to synthesize tryptophan inside the cell. Okay? Now, the second difference I can tell in the lac operon, lactose itself acts as an inducer of the operon. So, if lactose is present, the tryptophan, uh, the operon will be turned on. If the lactose is absent, the operon will be turned off. On the other hand, in the tryptophan operon, tryptophan acts itself as an inhibitor or negative regulator of its own operon. That means, if tryptophan concentration is high, the operon will be turned off. If the tryptophan concentration is low, the operon will be turned on. Now, the third thing is that in the lac operon, we see the role of a catabolite repression. Because as we talk about a catabolic operon, the presence of glucose modulates the lactose operon. That means, even if lactose is present, if glucose is present in the environment, until and unless glucose is finished from the environment or depleted from the environment, cells will not break down lactose. That is known as the catabolite repression. Presence of glucose will not allow the lactose operon to be turned on. And that thing is mediated by catabolite, repress, catabolite activator protein cyclic AMP complex, known as CAP cyclic AMP complex. Okay. This type of catabolite repression is not found in tryptophan operon because this operon model is simple and no such other nutrients are there to do this whole process because it is a synthesis type of operon and we see a negative regulation there. Now another difference I can talk about is that fine tuning of this operon. The fine tuning uh, even uh, you know the major regulator for lactose operon is lactose the regulator for tryptophan operon is trypto, tryp, uh, tryptophan uh, amino acid itself but there is another fine tuning for both the operons for lactose operon glucose and the presence of glucose acts as a slow fine tuning of the operon regulation of the operon while in tryptophan uh, a leader sequence is present and that leader sequence helps in the attenuation of tryptophan operon. This attenuation of tryptophan operon acts as a fine tuning to regulate the tryptophan operon. Okay? And this, this attenuation thing is not present in lactose operon. This is a unique feature of tryptophan. Okay? Now, in a sense, I am going to explain this too in a very, very brief manner because I already have uh, large videos of both these things in my channel. You can watch those detailed video about the lac operon and tryptophan operon to gather more knowledge. But let's say what happens in the lactose operon in very basic scale, there is uh, the structural genes ZYA that helps in the breakdown of lactose. Well, there is a promoter operator and upstream of it we have an inhibitor and the promoter for inhibitor. Now, inhibitor is produced and by default the lactose operon is turned off because the inhibitor is produced and inhibitor will go and bind to the operator region. So, if inhibitor occupies the operator region, promoter is though the promoter is free but the RNA polymer is if it sit on the promoter even but it cannot migrate because the operator is blocked by the inhibitor. So, normally in general cases the operator is blocked by the inhibitor and synthesis of the lac operon genes are turned off. But if lactose is present, in that case lactose bind with the with this inhibitor which will allow the structural changes inhibitor. So, inhibitor falls off from the operator, operator gets free. So, the RNA polymerase can sit to the promoter and as operator is free, it can move and synthesize the mRNA for ZYA, the structural genes, then can finally translate it into the products which will break down the lactose. 
Now in the second case of tryptophan operon, tryptophan operon also have a structural genes called EDCBA under a promoter and operator and the upstream of it we have a promoter region and a repressor gene and the promoter for the repressor gene. And there is a gap between the structural genes and promoter operator site of the tryptophan operon. That region is known as the leader sequence region which helps in attenuation. And the process is normally by default tryptophan operon is turned on because they produce tryptophan all the time inside the cell. So as it, tryptophan operon repressure is also being produced throughout the time constitutively. So there are a lot of repressor produced but the repressor is inactive at its primary form that is known as the aporepressor. But as the repressor is inactive, it will not be able to bind with the promoter. Promoter is free, RNA polymerase can bind to the, uh, I mean sorry, it cannot bind to the operator, the repressor. So the operator is free and promoter is also free. So the RNA polymerase can bind to the promoter, it can transcribe the genes and the translation will be possible and all the proteins are made, tryptophan is synthesized. Now, if there is enough concentration of tryptophan inside the cell, tryptophan can attach to the repressor, it modifies the structure of repressor and activates the repressor. So, repressor will now bind with operator, operator is blocked, though the promoter is free, RNA polymerase cannot transcribe the genes due to the blockage at the operator. So, no transcription, no translation, tryptophan synthesis is blocked. Okay? And, and, and attenuation I already talked about in different video which I am not going to talk about here. But these are the major difference between the lac operon and tryptophan operon. Okay? So if you like this video please hit the like button, subscribe to my channel to get more and more interesting videos like that and do not forget to share. Thank you.